Welcome back to Des Moines, the 2008 NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Women's team standings, it has come down to this. LSU coach, Dennis Shaver. Arizona State coach, Greg Kraft. LSU and Arizona State, one event remaining. And the winner here will win the national championship. Whoever finishes ahead of the other takes the 2008 title. Arizona State, the defending champions. LSU has not won a title since 2003, and this is the alignment for LSU. And they'll lead off with Brooklyn, Bro Brooklyn Morris. They have the second fastest time nationally this year. They're also the two-time defending champions in this event. And there is Arizona State out on the outside. Now, they got into this race, they just squeaked in, and they ran their season best time to get here. But you know what? You've gotta be in the race to have an opportunity. And these women from LS, from Arizona State are gonna give it a shot. LSU out of lane six, Arizona State, lane eight. And in lane five, Penn State, they'll be anchored by Shayna Cox. We saw her earlier win the open women's 400. So that should be interesting if Penn State can put her within striking distance. But LSU, of course, and Arizona State, whoever finishes ahead, are the 2008 women's team champions. Also keep your eye on lane number seven, Texas A&M. So this is a race within a race, the race for the win, the race for the championship. Brooklyn Morris running the lead leg for LSU. Dominique Malloy, first up for Arizona State. women's 4 by 400 meter relay to determine the national champions. Well, Arizona State is lucky to be here, but again, you have to be in it to win it. And LSU is really going to go out hard too, but right now it really looks like LSU is lagging a little bit behind as Penn State with Dominique Blake is moving well. And Brooklyn Morris got an awful start, and this is not the start that LSU needs. Remember, Arizona State has to be thinking, if we can just sneak LSU, we are the back-to-back -back team champions. And good job from Allison George from Texas A&M on this first leg. LSU, Brooklyn Morris, she has made up a lot of ground, though. And first exchange coming. And LSU hands off first to Kellyanne Baptiste. Now she's only running her ninth race of these championships, Carol, and she's got a whole bunch of ladies chasing her right now. Well, see, that's the thing. You have to look at the LSU women, and that is South Carolina moving up on the inside looking good. The LSU women have run so many races. They depended on their sprinters time and time again, and you have to wonder if they can hang in there. Arizona State is in fourth position, and they are doing a good job sitting right on top of the LSU Tigers. Jordan Durham running the second leg, the senior for Arizona State. Kellyanne Baptiste. Baptiste, Otto, as you mentioned, the ninth race of this meet. And what'll happen here? Kellyanne Baptiste is looking like she is struggling, but she's fighting it off right here. Arizona State dropping back as South Carolina has the lead. Woo! Take a look at Kellyanne Baptiste. What a great finish. We said she's run nine races. She didn't show it right there. She puts LSU right back into the lead. And gives the stick to Latavia Thomas running this third leg for LSU. And now Arizona State, the Lady Sun Devil, Devils hope starting to fade into the back in fourth place, but nowhere near LSU. Chantel Elcock, the junior, running the third leg for Arizona State. LSU can smell a national championship. Latavius Thomas. And this is where things get interesting. You get down to the last event, and that's when you have to throw everything you've done for the past four days out, and you have just got to dig down, and you've got to run the best you can. And LSU ladies are doing that right now. Thomas extending her lead for LSU. And they are 400 meters away from a national championship as she hands to Deanna Lawrence. And all Deanna Lawrence has to do is get this stick around safely, and LSU are champions. Unfortunately, Arizona State, they have to be given credit. They were not expected to even make this final, and here they are in fifth. They're not going to win the national title, but a great race from Arizona State. No, but here comes Shayna Cox from Penn State, and she passes right by Deanna Lawrence. And boy, oh boy, Penn State into the lead. 
but Lawrence has to keep her eye on the prize here. And last year, Arizona State had long since decided this team title. Great that we actually get to settle the score in the final event, guys. LSU, Deanna Lawrence, the senior, running the anchor leg. Penn State will take the four by four, but LSU wins the national championship. First one since 2003. They've done it under head coach Dennis Shaver. And Dennis Shaver has to be given credit for the moves that he made. I was not sure how much Kellyanne Baptiste had left. As I said, this is her ninth race of the championships. She was, she was the champion in the 100 meters, and she did not look good for 300 meters of her second leg. But man, Carol, that last 100 meters, she put LSU right back into the lead. They got second. They were able to defeat Arizona State, and that made the difference in the team chase. And it's a new stadium record by over two seconds. 327-69 for LSU. Another great parry by Latavia Thomas. Remember, not too long ago, she was second in the 800 meters. But right here, she gets to the inside, and she just digs down, and she is extending the lead for LSU. And right here, you would think after running five races, in the last four days that she would be giving up, but no, she's powering through to hand off the baton to Deanna Lawrence. And we talked about Shayna Cox anchoring for Penn State, and look at her, just the ease of movement by Shayna Cox. Doesn't have a lot of gears, but when she gets to her top speed, look at how fluid and strong Shayna Cox is. Deanna Lawrence hangs on for second, and the national championship for LSU's Lady Tigers. So it took five years for LSU to get back here, but they've done it. Dennis Shaver and the Tigers are the national champions. Here's Dwight. All right, Coach Shaver joins us, and uh, it's got to be a little melancholy. You had a shot at both the men's and the women's title, but the ladies, they really performed brilliantly. Yes, they did. I'm so proud of how uh, everybody on our team represented LSU this weekend. It's been a tough four days, the conditions we've had to deal with. But uh, these four ladies right here, they did what, exactly what they had to do to bring it home back to LSU. Deanna Lawrence, tell me a little bit about keeping it in perspective. When Shannon Cox went by with 200 meters to go, you still had your eye on the prize. I didn't want to give up. I knew we were running for a championship, and I just tried to finish and run all the way through the line. And we did what we came out here to do, which was win a team championship. Kelly, nine races in these four days, and you would have never known it by the way you ran your second leg. It was really an outstanding effort. Um, I mean, my coach always told me, you know, if it had to come down to the 4x4 four four and they needed me, that I would have to run. So I was expecting this all year. So I've been prepared. Ladies and Coach Shaver, congratulations on a great run. Now the Tigers are the national champions. They have come to Des Moines. They've made it Tiger Town here on the final day of competition, the 2008 NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships. 67 points to claim the title. Arizona State, tremendous showing under head coach Greg Kraft, finishing with 63 points.